This quarry churns out sulfur at an alarming rate, making it one of the fastest settled monuments on the map. It has a very small build radius, so you can literally wall it off, and generally this is a clan's dream and everyone else's nightmare. It runs off a relatively scarce resource though, called diesel fuel, and this can only be found in specific locations on the map, and you'd be lucky to find more than two or three of it at a time. Little did I know the solo adventure that awaited me in this video. Enjoy. I began by teaming up with Yakov. We went eco raiding and filled our base with all sorts of goodies that would make any Rust player jealous. He just gave us 400 cloth, a worm. <laughs> oh, mate, mate, core. This is raided recently. Oh, wait, wait. Imagine having all this and having what? <gasps> dude, dude, 12 diesel. But we still need to find diesel to make the sulfur quarry run. We cleared monuments like machines. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running through large oil rig, military tunnels, and even taking on the cargo ship. Man, what a f***ing journey <laughs> getting on here. <laughs> With all this, you'd think, wow, that's a lot of loot. And yet, we thirsted for more. Is this the rust condition, or are we just greedy? There's a guy in there, guy in there. Two guys. Are they AFK? There's a guy on the hill. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come here! Come here right now! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come! Come look at their bodies! Look at these bodies! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I fell at the front of the boat, fell at the front of the boat. Oh, those idiots! They should have ran all what they had! I'll be as quick as I can. <laughs> I, I want to hear you making that noise while you're running. <laughs> the gun box is nutty. The gun box I'm, is nutty, dude. Oh, it's so full. Dude, we've got seven MLRSs in here. While I grinded up all of our newfound components so we could research every last blueprint on the workbench, giving us access to all those juicy late game explosives that we need, Yakov decided to build a shop on our roof. This meant that players could buy back their equipment from us and obviously we would profit with sulfur i'd say tommy's are kind of like 400 sulfur sars are like 300 sulfur but the best thing to do is look and see what other people have put them up for we had a good plan but we still needed to research rocket launcher and hp but a discovery within our base prompted a new line of questions a new opportunity, if you will. How much uh, sulfur do you get per diesel fuel? Does anyone know? Because we have 10 diesel. 10. But this would have to wait. Rust is an opportunistic game. You need to seize an advantage when you have one. And Yakov just came across a raid still in progress. The base they've raided is at M11. Just go straight to M11. Have they finished the raid? Uh, it's sort of like ongoing. Bro, I'm going up the mountain now. And oh, the sulfur quarry has been walled off. That's annoying. I see a guy logged off with full kit, I think. The, the roof camper is 150 from me, directly up the hill. Oh, that's behind me. Anything good? And he's what? He's stuff. inside. Oh, furnace has all got stuff in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something big brain, and you're gonna drop down and kill him, alright? Okay. Can I rain up to us? You're gonna jump out. Yeah. Onto that. And he's directly oh, down that I saw him, I saw him. Yeah, you ready? Here we go. He's dead. Work. So I just won. <gasps> box of charcoal. He had a spas 12, mate. He was not moving. <laughs> yeah. Uh, box of charcoal here, dude. Like full box of charcoal. I literally emptied my inventory in favor of taking all the charcoal I could find. In Rust, you need a one-to-one -one ratio of charcoal and sulfur to make gunpowder in a mixing table. So the amount of charcoal that we have will directly affect the amount of raiding that we can do. And unlike sulfur, but there are no quarries to get charcoal. You can only get it the old fashioned way, sitting and waiting for wood to burn. Yeah, I got 1k metal and an inventory of uh, charcoal. I'm pretty happy with that. I think there's more juice in this space. Yeah, me too. I think it might be behind this. Oh, I see what they were raiding, dude. I think they're one garage door from core. If there's going to be guys trying to fight us and contest it, like we, we don't want to bring enough for them to finish the raid after they kill us. Like we'll bring enough to get the next door down and then we can worry about the rest of it. Rust is kind of like uh, one of those games that's opportunistic. You've got to go for those opportunities. They're raiding. They're raiding again. Uh, all right. I'm so close. Yeah, they're still shooting and stuff here. I think that was an L9 actually. 
I just heard. This would be a great time to mention an awesome opportunity for you guys. Joining the Patreon program means that you get to be part of all my events, get your name in all my videos, you get to join the private Minecraft server, and depending on which level you pick, you can get in real life rewards as well. I think I just killed one. I nice. see- uh, I think there are more doors. I think I see more doors. But I killed someone. There's a tier 3 and stuff here. He was only naked though. Well, they did get into one more door. Is there any juice on the ground? Under- under tier 3? Uh, no, no, it's gone. Uh, whoever was in here, I just killed some naked, basically. Some just nobody. Whatever was under tier 3 is gone. Um, we could finish this raid. I, I don't know what was under tier 3, but... I think we finished it. I don't know why, but I feel like this is the last garage door. Man, he keeps like... I, I, I think I downed him again. <laughs> I think I've downed him three times now on his roof. We decided to see what else was in the base, because while charcoal is very valuable, generally it is not kept in the core with the most valuable materials. And we suspected that the raiders hadn't quite got to all the goodies yet. Oh, good satchel. Oh, shit, hopefully. <gasps> bro, oh, are you alive? Oh, bro. Did 20 you got, health, 20 health. You got any XP? I got a HE, I HE. Oh, yeah, yeah, pachunk it, pachunk it. Hopefully once. Yes, nice. Yeah, oh, we're in one. Garage door. Suck it. Oh, that's not kind of shit. Boxes. Oh my god, C4, C4, C4. C4? Guys coming? Don't, don't hear anyone. Someone coming? Someone, someone's definitely there. 100% uh, there on the left side. Left side base. Don't see anyone. Yeah, why not, right? Maybe there's more loot or a TC or something. Uh, I'm happy to do it, I'm happy to do it. And plus, we just got a C4 right. straight back, right? So that cost us basically nothing. How low? 90, I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, satchel. Two satchels should do it. Real cover, you, you've got a good cover spot there. Uh, TC is behind a window. There was no more extra juice, but um, I got another AK. Nice. HMLMG. Uh, there's still a bit more loot, but I think I've got all the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Let's go. Was was it worth getting the AK for a C4? I don't know. I, th I think it kind of was. AKs are so good, and we need to research one. We returned home in a melancholy mood. We didn't get the stacks that we hoped for, and this was a bit of a blow to our morale, but the day was still young. I set up auto turrets around the base in case of an online raid, and we had automatic furnaces running round the clock. This is a system that I set up on day one, no matter what server I'm playing on. And all that effort was definitely paying off. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Come, dude, 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 dude. Go look at the um the cook go stuff. Go look at the ore box. Oh, yes. I can't wait. <laughs> Oh, it's so good. I love electronics, man. I fucking love electronics. Look at it go. And you farmed a lot of that sulfur, man. Like, to be fair, every time we get two or 3k sulfur, we just chuck it in there and forget about it. Hey, we had some sales. We sold some guns. What? No, what you, yeah, let's get the yeah, sulfur. 450. I got 450 sulfur. You know where to put that sulfur, man. Let's get it cooking. Oh, uh, it's digging in the box. Yeah, good oh, job setting up that, uh, that shop as well, man. Yeah. This is duo effort. Right, we've got four auto turrets on top, and they're all powered. You Dude, should be. Two rows of for nothing. <laughs> for nothing. I know. I, I hate fooling you down from what you're doing, but you have to come look at the boom box. You have to. Let me just. I'm literally doing the last branch now for the bottom water turret, and then I'll come. I promise. Just look at that. That is. And you know what? If we could go sulfur quarry, and we could. We, I can't even imagine the amount of sulfur we'd get. Mate, that's fucking. That's a good effort. That is. <laughs> That's a proper good That's effort. a lot of boom, dude. That's a lot of boom. Uh, I'm not going to leave any uh, SAR bodies at all. We, don't, we just don't need them. I'm going to take all the fuses as well. I I'll leave two fuses, but uh, I'm going to take basically all of them. We might need another windmill, so I'll leave three sheet metal. I'm taking six. With another recycle run under our belts, I was finally able to get the last blueprints I needed to do some serious raiding. And I think it's pretty clear that even without using a quarry, we have all the sulfur we need to hit anyone we want. Everyone's just chilling for the raids and we're just like doing everything but. <laughs> I can't wait to raid. I, I seriously cannot wait to raid. Think about how much we can raid though. This is the, this is the nutty thing. Yeah and because our base is organized once we get home with the loot we can just go straight back out because everything we fart everything we get can be auto crafted. <gasps> Up, oh, someone's buying something. Oh my god! Oh, I sold. And on that note, we decided to use some of our newly found blueprints on an unassuming base that was nearby. It had a certain hexagonal appeal that we just couldn't resist. The base down here below us is the one I wanted to go through. 
Oh, yeah, I remember this from yesterday, actually. I mean, I think they're like gonna be stacked. Yeah, back. potentially. It's a weird base. It's got a back pickable front door, is not it? It just looks like a bit of a noob base, to be honest. Yeah, I hate rockets, though. You never know what the, the noobs farm. The noobs do farm. Well, it's not riveting. Straight down. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, it's Asians. Oh, it's Asians, dude. Look at all these symbols. What the hell do these even mean? TC's uh, blocked. Oh, what if they're stacked? Oh, bro. This might be a really good base. Oh, oh, dude. oh no. Why is there so much loot? Oh, there wasn't as much as I was hoping, actually. All oh, the small boxes, just food. Ladders, yoink. Oh, GP, 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 GP. Oh, worse. I think profit. it was worse overall. Yeah, like GP, GP profit wasn't that far off actually. Dude, the guns here are good. Two satchels. Yeah. Lots of ammo. Yeah, loaded actually, properly loaded. And these guns look fresh crafted and unused actually. It took three trips with both of us just to get everything home from this raid. And it sparked a burning within us to use all the boom we had collected. And we really didn't have to go far to find another target. Right, let me inspect him again. Yeah, I say we just pound like the middle bit with eight rockets. Yeah, same again. Okay, right, double doors in. Oh, dude, HQ. Uh, yeah, they're all got like 30 health left, mate. Do you say, yep. Yeah. I just watch, watch the front door. Bro, the HQ or oh, sulfur as well isn't bad. I'm watching I'm door. Watching door. I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching, I'm watching. Get a, get a single door crafted as well quickly. I don't, it's not Crafty. sulfur profit, but the amount of HQ that I saw. Yeah, yeah. So what? One and a half rows of sulfur. What? 400 uh, high qual. 600 scrap. <gasps> oh, five diesel. Dude, we definitely need to go use the diesel. Decent amount of comp. Dude, we can make another two auto turrets. Three auto turrets with all this. Yeah, so we've got 10 diesel in base plus that five. Good loot overall, I'd say. Charcoal as well. Find a use for all of that. I mean, that box there is so juiced. Th this top left box here. I'm just filling these two boxes of all the stuff that we're going to keep. Yeah, that's a that's actually a really nice inventory there. I think we got everything. Right, that's one. We both went out in search of more bases to raid, and Yakov got jumped by some sneaky players, leaving me to rush over to try and help. It's such bullshit. The guy who went out of the base had a bow, so I was like, oh, they're prim. And the yeah. other guy sitting in the base with a silence in a corner. Like, <laughs> uh, your body looks pretty untouched, actually. They probably took the tier three and ran. Yeah, probably. You didn't send the tier three? My body. Oh, bro! My body 20 split. diesel? Bro, 20 diesel? That's 60k? This base was stacked, dude. Insin. I got, I got five MLRS. Though we lost a full AK kit, I would trade that twice over for 20 diesel any day. Yakov went off more or less for the wipe, leaving me alone. And after trying my luck at the sulfur quarry, it became obvious that it was protected by multiple small groups in the area. But that didn't stop me countering the farmers. Oh, this guy had nothing. Winter? <gasps> oh my god. Sir Winter needs to buy this guy's account. Imagine playing on an account where the streamer name is Winter. That's amazing. Yeah. I found a guy called Ellie once and I got a mate who's called Ellie. E W L Y. Do they even have auto turrets? The TCs are all open in there. Oh no, no, it's it's just open. Oh, it's just some guy just turned it on. Oh, I hate to be him right now. Yeah, I'm going to nail him. Oh, I hope he had a shit ton of diesel on him. Care for turrets. I don't think there are any. I, I had a decent look.
Oh, I had a tier two. Yo. All right, let's see how much diesel they had in here. I, I think we actually get like an auto turret or something here and just take this over. That would not be a bad idea. Oh, that feels bad. They put like six fuel in it. I just took it all. I decided it best not to hang around. Now that I knew I was outnumbered, at least three to one. And who knows how many more players were in the area. I had no intention of fighting them fairly now that I'm playing solo, so I retreated to my base. And in my retreat, I found another good raid target that I went straight over to with some explosives. I'm pretty sure this sheet metal door is going to house some loot behind it. Almost certain. Uh, yeah. I thought I saw something, I think it was just a mushroom. Okay. Oh my god. Stacked. Uh, let's get some a metal door craft in. Why is this so stacked? Oh my, what's supply signal and everything in here? Uh, build plan, hammer. I'm getting tired. I know I'm tired. Keep making mistakes. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of HQ. Yeah, yeah, bags. Just get into that. Oh, I didn't even check on the TC. Oh. Oh. That sounded kind of painful. <laughs> hey. Another full road zone kit for Max. Let's get the best stuff quickly, or at least some of it. Mm -hmm. All of this can go in here. We're not exactly on unlimited metal right now, so I'm going to take both of those. With that very profitable little raid, I ended my second day, but we still had a lot of wipe left. Generally, I hate logging off with explosives and unused materials in my base, because the way I see it, if I get offline, and let's be honest, I usually do, all of that is wasted. But by the good graces of the rust gods, we logged into an unharmed base and set about taking over the sulfur quarry. It wasn't enough for me to just use it. I wanted turrets down because we had over 50 diesel to get through. Uh, right, we got some mollies for that little TC over there. Yeah, if we raid this and then we'll figure the rest out. I could put it on the back here because then it's watching... What about the front side? What about this side? Yeah, I can't place it there, unfortunately. Yeah, so if we put one auto turret here and we'll put one auto turret on the other side, I'm still kind of worried someone can sneak in somehow. Okay. Is a TC inside it? Are you fucking kidding me? There is in the window, dude. Yeah, I didn't see that. You know, we can even just hit that and then we can use that windmill instead of having another... True. Yeah. I've got a Jackie on me. I just need to see one. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. Bring, bring, the, uh, bring the crude with you. Got the diesel. Got the Jackie. I need, uh, I need to grab a tier one. I think we have a tier one in the box somewhere. Okay, sweet. Oh, also I brought 30 diesel. <laughs> I might as well just turn it on. I'll just put like five in for now. You enjoy bring your Mackies, mate. I'll, I'll take care of this. Oh, there's even a little bit of materials left in it. Enjoy it looks connected, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that was a bit off, maybe. It doesn't matter. Even if it's not, we'll just repair it. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I'm dead. Full dead? Yeah, I I'm full see dead. You. I, don't, I haven't killed him. How far away are you? I, I'm miles away. Like, no bag anywhere near. Um, he just yeah. run in head glitching. What the fuck? No, I think he ran in like that with like with something on and just just killed me. It doesn't make any sense. This was a pretty tragic blow, but our priority here is to hold sulfur quarry. Losing loot is acceptable as long as we can use our diesel. Oh, they left a lot on my loot. They left. They took the auto turret. Honestly, they kind of fucked up. They could have. They could have really ruined our day here. Uh, let me get a double door or something crafted quickly. So I still got my pistol. They left some of the bullets. We've still got everything but the auto turret, I think, actually. 
and obviously the kits, but I, I don't really care about the kits. We've got we've got 25 diesel still, right? We've lost five diesel. That's not a big deal. So okay, that's that sealed. Oh, lol. They didn't even fully loot everything. They got about 4k sulfur, I think, maybe a bit more. They, they, I think they scoured us naked and then they came over. I, I still don't know how they killed us. They crouched all the way up super sneakily. I need to go back to base to get the turret and stuff, but I can get some of this done now. I need a light here now. I can't see shit. Um, and I'm dead to them. They just snuck up and I still nearly killed one. They, they, they crouch walked all the way up again and it's fucking pitch black so I can't see shit. I, I'm literally about to put a fist through the fucking screen. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I know that feeling. That was me a minute no, ago. I mean, you don't though. Like, I'm literally just going to fucking, like, yeet <laughs> this computer out the fucking window in a minute. <laughs> Don't do it, bro. It's not worth it. I'm going to. No. My, the last thing you can see on my stream is my fucking desktop going out the fucking window to my left. Alright, I need a large battery up there. Okay, that battery should be getting charged now. And then I want that power. Sweet, perfect. Damn. Thank you. And I'm gonna make it so we can add another water turret if we want. Stack of that in, and then I should be able to turn it on with that. Uh, so if I want to do another water turret, all I need to do is take the power out and put it into the power in on that back one, for example. Power in, and then I can branch out to another water turret if I want to. Oh, that's on me. That is on me. That is on me. Bolty at me. Bolty at you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming, coming, coming. He's outside somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting. I'm dead. I'm full dead instantly. There is an auto turret on though. That might have that shot him a bit, but it didn't kill him. I'm dead again. Uh, I see one. I see one. He's behind the second water turret. I'm dead. Behind the second water turret, the one I put down most recently. He's got. He just shot. He just shot. Yeah, I know. I know. He was at me. Yo, mate's dead. Where whereabouts in the compound, dude? I need to loot this guy. Oh, he's already looted himself, mate. Man, these guys are just fucking cringe. This stood like a millimeter out of auto turret range. Uh, I'm not going over there again. I, I already can't really be asked for that. Like, I'm gonna have one more crack at them. But they just—they just kill me, dude. Like every single time, they just come over and they just easily kill me. I just hear them. They're, they're like so fucking sneaky. Like, and they always know where you are, and they're always like in the right position. At this point, I don't blame him because he, he was on rust for eight hours. But Yakov went offline, and my patience had also just about run out. I decided to adopt a new strategy. The diesel was still over there, and if they decided to destroy my auto turrets, they would get close to 50k sulfur. But it would take them about two hours. Hours, and I could not let that happen. I'm running back again anyway. I got an extra auto turret and a python and ammo. I got a bunch of landmines. Boom. Oh, Christ. So annoying. Uh, oh, building blocks there. But this is my proof, so... If we can just figure out a way to get like another good auto turret here, we might be okay. We might actually be able to use all this. Uh, or, or maybe maybe on this one. Man, no, maybe, maybe on this one, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so now we've got two auto turrets working off of that. Yeah, I guess we start putting diesel in. If landmines and stuff go off, happy days. <laughs> I just chucked five diesel in. I think I just saw a laser that wasn't mine. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just saw a laser. Okay, they're gonna be coming back soon. Oh, we're out of fuel. Okay, we'll chuck another five in. I'm only putting five diesel in at a time. I don't want to do any more than that. Oh, he must stand on a landmine. I kind of need to kill him before I go and put the fuel in. He's dead. So, yeah, the M39 slaps. There's normally two, so I need to go and loot him quickly. Oh, it is. It's one of them. It's one of the AK kits. I don't know how he didn't step on the landmine over there. I only put two or three down, but... Back already. Look at that. Again, I'm surprised he didn't step on the landmine. I think one's inside already. He could be, like, here somewhere. Hit him once. He 
Maybe he is dead. Oh yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, it's how I got him. Man. <laughs> I was nading him. Oh, that's the second one. Yeah, they both came. They both came. Okay, okay. Things are already... I'm already happy. I'm already happy. I just want my AKs. Maybe they lost them. Who knows? <laughs> this is some of my gear. And I got a HQ chest piece as well now. And, and my gloves back. And I even got my kill that I was using earlier. They're going to keep coming back. Like, if that was both of them... And it was so sneaky. Oh, that felt so good. <laughs> Another 2k self. Not bad. Not bad. While I was killing those players, I was actually farming sulfur goes. It's so weird how, like, you completely, like, go from this, like, depression to, like, you know, I can do anything sort of mentality. I ended up deciding to take home an inventory of materials, including all of the sulfur while it was dark. As you know, I'm pretty worried that these guys are going to come back and try and raid. And on a quick side note, I've never been so well prepared to defend myself in rust. I have landmines, auto turrets, F1 grenades, and in in ammunition. I was pretty much ready to take on an army before I would even consider backing off from my sulfur quarry. Okay, let's get back there. Hopefully they're not destroying my turrets. And, then, and now we are in. I wonder if it's been looted. It sh should it be off? Uh, I don't think it got looted. This is the only place that they could be without me, like my turrets killing them. At the back here, I don't see them in here. I don't know where my or my landmines are, but they're around that side somewhere. Mother f Oh, I think there's already one in that rock. <laughs> Just passing by. Oh, I had nothing. He had literally nothing. I actually feel bad. I just saw them. Okay. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of lamb ones there. Let's see what happens here. I don't know where the other one is. He's like tap firing with the AK. Yeah, I didn't place the walls. I think he just killed the AK guy. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I think they tried to bait me. Oh, that was a really good bait if it was. AK? I don't remember where the landmine... That's one of our AKs. I don't remember where all the landmines are. <laughs> That's one of our AKs back! We got an AK back, guys! Yeah, it's them, it's them. This is our full kit bag. It's them. Oh, that was so good. They tried to bait me. Oh, that was so good. I'm actually proud of them. Got my jumper, my boots bag. I didn't want to push out, but the instant rounds melt. Should we have a look how much damage they do? They're doing like 40 damage to the hand. What is that? What is that? That's so much. Right. <sighs> They're fucking with the wrong solo player. Spicy ammo. He's dead. A bit of a waste of instant rounds, but whatever. It's normally two. Yeah, it's them. He's coming over with DV. Damn. Elise? It's, it was Elise, right? No, maybe that's a different name. Where are you crawling off to? Let's be friends. Yeah, oh, I just stopped. That's fine. We'll just turn it back on when we come back. And I'll bring some more diesel with me as well. I want to keep going with the horse because they're, they're kind of leaving us alone as well. And we're getting a lot of sulfur cooked up. I think the horse is a good idea, but I think uh, I, I think it would be kind of convenient to have a, a mini stam. Yeah, the full stam bar gets me about four grids, four blocks. Every trip home brings me one step closer to the biggest solo raid of my life. Keeping the horse fed and taking all the spare guns home along with the sulfur makes me feel safe and it brings me more supplies like meds and ammunition to the quarry with each trip. Furnaces can't keep up with the sulfur that we're bringing in. <laughs> <laughs> Shwing! <laughs> Alright, let's just get all the metal frags out of there, so it's literally just sulfur. With my constant successful runs back home, my confidence in the auto turrets grew, and I decided to venture out 
in search of a locked crate at the nearby water treatment monument. I can cut out the middleman here and just find sulfur and rockets that are already crafted for me, so in my mind it's worth the risk as long as no one takes over control of the sulfur quarry. Okay, uh, I'll leave this in here because that's what I've been killing players with. I tell you what, I could put this on. It's like a mediocre set. If someone's trying to push into sulfur quarry, there's also the auto turrets. And I mean, you know, the other thing is we've got 75% of the, of the sulfur home already. There's 10k sulfur basically cooking up there at the moment. If we don't get it home, sad, but not the end of the world. It is active. A little 10 minutes on it. If they're not in the area, they're probably in the building. Mm -hmm. I don't think anyone's using the grinder. Mm. Okay, Chastity. What a name. That may have been the guy, actually. I'm watching. Oh, 3.30 already. Nice. Thank you, Freedom. I appreciate that. Uh, there, there's someone. Oh, two guys. He thinks he's being sneaky. The guy I killed only had a Revy. I'm not even going to check his body. He's backing off. If they don't know the timer, then I'm fine. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Woo! Sulfur quarry is this way. We'll be safe once we get there. But I'd rather just get inside first. Yeah. Another three AK will be nice. It's got to be shooting someone behind, right? Just some naked. Lucille. Doesn't ring a bell. Don't think I've seen that name yet. We should probably think about leaving. I got you, I got you, I got you, don't worry. Yeah, you can sneak in the other side. I think you blew up a landmine and I was able to run in. Oh no! Rosa, Rosalind. I don't know who that guy is. Probably shouldn't have opened that door, but it's okay. I can, I can jump in now. And you think he's dead? I think he might be dead. I think they were way too eager to get in here. Oh, I see him. I don't have any more bullets. Oh, I was literally about to leave as well. This is so frustrating. Where do you think the other guy is? Do you think he, or the other one died as well? <gasps> there he is. <laughs> Landmines! Landmines! Landmines are the best. Get this fucking molly out of here before they try and use it on me. Okay, we... Oh, shit, a brick. Really? That... This guy got kind of far, I'll be honest. Further than I thought he would. Nice trap compound, thank you. I'm running out of, uh, I'm running low on landmines though, we need to leave. <laughs> We've got another full, in, a, a, an actual box of sulfur this time. Right, ditch that, 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 all of that, all of that, all of that, and all of that in that box. Oh, it's so much sulfur! What do we need for landmines? Landmine, it's just a tier two, isn't it? Tier two, 50 metal, 30 gunpowder. Okay, so I'm gonna grab 500 metal. I returned triumphantly to the quarry one last time. I'd pulled over 60,000 sulfur out of the ground, all while playing solo, and I was greeted by a very strange interaction. Welcome to my landmine field. You will die here. <laughs> oh, that's it. We only have 1.7k sulfur left. Uh, I, I didn't think there was a lot. I'm just uh, landmining the area, you know. You can never be too careful. Yeah, did you guys want to use this then, or... Mate, you're so quiet. One sec, I'll just come out to you. You're saying you wanted to use it? Oh. Oh, it's you. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not going to let you use it. You guys are massive dicks while we were trying to get this down. <laughs> That's alright, I got like 55,000 bags in the area. Whatever. What? I think he said whatever, shut up or something to me, so I'm gonna try and kill him. That's five hit markers.
One of them might be down. Properly down that time. Oh, I hit him three times. That's pathetic. His friend's down up the hill. Ah, oh, I should have spawned inside. He's still there. They're over there still. Yeah, to my left. Yep. Dicks. That's how I deal with you. <laughs> Noise. And that's profit. Well played. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to telling Yak about this. Making him feel a bit, bit better about what happened today. Because we were all, we were both struggling a little bit. And those are the ones that triggered Yak. Yeah. I mean, they triggered us both, right? This wasn't just Yak. I was getting fucking pissed as well. This is even our bolty back. Like, everything, literally. There's a silencer on it. Like, you thought that was going to make much difference. Uh, I took both the AKs that we lost off of them now. So With all the sulfur home, I cooked and cooked and <laughs> you guessed it cooked then i knew i had to find a raid target and i'm gonna go big because i'm not going home even though i was playing solo what we could do is raid that one in the water next to us we'll run all the way to military base with the 12 mlrs's f1 stare at their base come home grab rockets and then run over to it did you see that instant spin like 200 degrees MP5, one full kit, Vonda, I'm not familiar. I wonder if he lives in, in that base, oh, I think he does. Yeah, I think that guy is the one I'm about to try and raid, so he's probably online. I'm about to run straight past his base because I need a target for the MLRS as well. I think that's pretty much spot on, wouldn't you say? Here they come! Let's get a really good view of this. Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay, we've got all the side walls open. Let's have a look. Okay, one auto turret there, one auto turret there. I'm wondering if we HV the turrets. Either way, we're taking a full kit. I might craft some HVs though. Oh, I forgot the walls. I forgot the walls. I'm going to need the walls. I don't know if he's dead or not. Shot over, overshot, really. Really? Really? He might be dead now. What the fuck? That must be low. Half health now. Oh, it's gone. Right, that's all of the ones I can see gone. Let's just uh, bury into the side pocket. I did take out some of his stuff. Killed him again. Nothing. 1v1. I think he's got the advantage, honestly. I can just keep rocketing. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good nade. He's downed, not dead. That might be his loot down here, honestly. Shit loot. Bit of ammo, though. That gonna be core. Ah, I've only got a HP left. Shit. Should've brought more boom. Some kits. Uh, I need to grab more boom. He's still in there. He might start repairing. I don't think he's gonna think to start repairing. I think he's just gonna be like panicking, trying to see where I am. I've only got six. I've only got nine rockets left. That's not terrible, actually. Didn't even want to kill him, really. A lot of AK shots there. A couple K wood, might need some of that. Okay, this rock in particular, okay? Uh, focus, focus, focus. There we go. That's not the guy on the roof, I don't think. Okay, let's get the rockets. I didn't get his AK. I, just, I was going to put his AK in the stash. Got it. I'm going to put his AK in the stash. Yeah. Rocket C4. Basically a full kit. It's like the slowest, slowest raid I've ever done in my life, I think. No! No, you roof camping swine! Oh, his teammate's looting me. Fuck! Is he gonna be like, oh, I need to go get that loot, or is he just gonna wait? In a peaks, does he? No. Look at him coming down. Jesus, where the fuck's the TC? Another one down. TC. Actually, just guns and ammo. It's the guy from the roof. Lock door, lock door. Shemel door, maybe. Any anywhere? Shemel door. Uh, I can instant rocket. I think where I came in. Shimmel door, shimmel door, shimmel door. Cody. That's a really good incident. He's not down. I should have done a regular lock. GP, boom. I got regular lock. Come on, doors. Craft for me. Yeah, that water. I forgot that it's water. I don't know what they are. I'm turning everything off. Shit, did you see my loot in here? Um, do I hit this? Do I keep raiding? Hello? 
It's rude to knock and then not say why you're knocking. Hello. Hello. God, you're, you even sound awesome. I even sound awesome. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's Axe, mate, yeah. I wouldn't say Noob, mate. You did fucking well. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna manage to raid you. Honestly, I thought you were gonna kill me. I just wanted to use up all my boom before I logged off. Oh, uh, yeah, you, you guys did really well defending. Honestly, I was sweating. I was sweating through my eyeballs. Like, the metal, the low grade, the scrap. You guys have so much scrap. Um... I don't need the stone. I'll take some of it, but you can keep a lot of it. I mean, it depends what I'm able to transport, to be honest. I'm still getting doors on, but I, I haven't finished raiding you. I still need to go through, like... How about this? Uh, I'll open the door. You'll open the doors. Uh-huh. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, in the interest of friendship... <laughs> If you want to help me transport some stuff home, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. I ended up letting this guy into his base and he even opened all the doors for me just so I could see what other loot he had. I did end up spending another day on the Rust server and maybe there'll be a video about that, but shout out to this absolute legend who literally helped me transport loot over to my base from his base. Don't tell me you're the swamp base guy. Yeah, mate, I'm sorry. He informed me about how his teammate rage quit while we were fighting and that he'd never been hit with an MLRS before. So in a way, I think I was, uh, you know, teaching him about Rust because I'm just such a great guy. But I'm glad I got to share this experience with you as well. Support me by subscribing over here on my Twitch or if you want some awesome cool rewards, go and check out my Patreon. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.